good morning all of you on behalf of atmaram sanatanjan college and iqac of the college i welcome you all to the science stream orientation program organized to orient the students of the science stream towards a ugcf framework i now call upon our main our hamare margdarshak or a beloved principal sir to kindly address this gathering thank you manika Dr. Manika Jain, Secretary, Staff Council, other colleagues, and my dear students. Once again, I welcome you all in this Science Stream Orientation Program. And as I have told you in General Orientation Program on second November, that we will organize a stream-wise uh, orientation program for the students so that they can understand and the structure of UGCF and the credit system. and today um, our team is going to explain you that how you will choose your gender generic elective your sec your vac your ac and uh, uh, how uh, you will do your first year second year third year and fourth year so my best wishes to all of you and thank you so much manika for inviting me thank you you can start your presentation thank you thank you sir uh without much ado let's uh, get back to the business of the day so i'm uh, sharing the screen and i would call upon uh, mr kapil dr vikas ms richa suri and uh, dr shankar to kindly assist me throughout the presentation The screen is visible to all of you. So we're going to talk about the undergraduate free curricular framework twenty two, and uh, let me start with a briefing about uh, this particular slide because, as you all know, you have been uh, admitted under this particular framework, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you would have studied deeply about the entire framework. But just a brief recap. of uh, what has already been uh, told to you and then we'll come to what uh, our college is to offer into the, the, the various aspects so the first slide which talks about qualification type and credit requirement you all are aware that uh, we are going to talk about academic credits here uh, just like you deposit your money in the bank there is a credit bank which is going to take care of all your credits and uh, the credits which you accumulate over the four years and how do you accumulate across how many semester that is going to decide what degree you are going to be offered after every single stage so we, when we talk about these credits we talk about this first stage here that is the undergraduate certificate in the study or the discipline you will be eligible to for this certificate after the successful completion of the first two semesters that is the first and the second year which in turn means that you should have completed 44 accumulated 44 credits 22 in the first semester and 22 in the second semester after completion of further 88 credits that is uh, your second year or third and fourth semester you are eligible for an undergraduate diploma in the field of study and discipline after the successful completion of the 132 credits that uh, is across your uh, first three years that is first year first semester to sixth semester you are eligible for either a bachelor of or of honors in a discipline single or single core discipline course of study or if you are uh, going in for a multidisciplinary course you will be eligible for a bachelor in a multidisciplinary course of study for multi, uh, multiple core disciplines of courses of study after successful completion of your eighth semester that is your all the four years of undergraduate curriculum framework you after you have accumulated all your 176 credits you will be eligible to the bachelor of in a particular field for example economics discipline uh, provided you are being uh, also undertaking a research project or an academic project in your final year or if you are otherwise into a multidisciplinary course you will be eligible for a bachelor in the field of multidisciplinary courses honors degree so that's after the fourth year that is after successful completion of 176 academic credits 
Now, again, moving on to the structure of the UGCF and one very prominent uh, question, which is uh, in all of your minds, that like what, what do your major and minor disciplines uh, will be? So for your discipline to qualify as a major discipline, there are certain criteria which need to be fulfilled. So if you can see, you can be awarded an honors degree with a major in the discipline. Uh, in this case, we have distinguished between the two broad categories. One is a four-year undergraduate program in a specific discipline. For example, if you're doing it in uh, physics or chemistry or electronics, how uh, are you going to be awarded a major in a particular degree? So in this case, the major will be awarded on the completion of eighth semester. And you have to secure at least 88 credits in the discipline out of the total 176 credits. So if your major is physics, let us say, uh, I would uh, request my um, uh, the other members of the orientation program to correct me if I'm wrong, that uh, out of the total 176 credits that you have to accumulate after eight uh, semester, at least 88 should be secured in the discipline, in, in your core discipline in which you are uh, studying for the particular undergraduate degree. And in addition to that, you'll have to study 20 DSEs and at least two DSEs in the eighth semester. Okay, so this is how you accumulate those 88 credits, 20 DSEs, uh, which uh, plus two DSEs together will make you, give you at least 88 credits to, to, for that subject to qualify as your major discipline. Similarly, if I talk about uh, the four-year uh, undergraduate program in more than one discipline as uh, core, uh, for example, if you are doing it in basic physical sciences with mathematics as your uh, uh, subject. So you will be awarded a major degree after the completion of eight semester. But in this case, you have to secure at least 80 credits in the discipline in which you are, uh, uh, the discipline in which you are securing the degree, you are seeking to secure the degree. Now, how do you accumulate these 80 credits? Uh, it will be six DSEs and at least three DSEs in the discipline in the first six semester and two DSEs and six DSEs and written dissertation in that discipline in the seventh and eighth semester. That's how you accumulate your 80 credits for that subject to qualify as your major discipline. I would request all the participants to please secure their doubts for the later uh, part of the session. We'll be holding a, a Q&A session towards the end of that. So let us uh, first complete with our presentation. Next is a minor discipline. Uh, Again, we are going to uh, discuss it across two kinds of courses. One is where you are undergraduating in a specific discipline, another uh, in a multidisciplinary case. So when uh, for a four-year undergraduate program in a specific discipline, a discipline would qualify to be a minor discipline on the completion of the eighth semester. But in this case, you have to acquire 28 credits from seven GE courses of that discipline. That's a minimum requirement there. And again, for four-year undergraduate program in more than one discipline, for example, BSc Physical Sciences with Electronics, you will be a, uh, a particular subject will qualify as a minor discipline on the completion of the eighth semester. And the student will have to earn 28 credits from six DSCs and one DSC in that discipline. So that's how you acquire your minor discipline. Over to Shankarji for uh, further explanation of uh, this framework. Shankar? Uh, you are on mute, Shankar. Shankar, aapki awaz nahi hai. Audible? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, here we are at the table three right now. The, uh, the table three represents the distribution of the credits of uh, each semester. As for semester one, or all the semesters are represented on the left side, and the respective credits are represented on the right side. These 22 credits in each semester are distributed in the form of core DSE discipline specific core papers, generic elective papers, ability enhancement course, AEC papers, scale enhancement course, SEC paper, and value addition course. 
so the 22 credits of the first semester and second semester are distributed in the form of dsc ge aec sec and vec courses the choices of these have been forwarded to each one of you uh, the gender related papers are the papers which are non departmental paper for example if you are from the honors of uh, mathematics or honors of physics or honors of chemistry then you have to choose a paper of the corresponding non mathematics non chemistry non physics a mathematics students should not or cannot choose a gender elective paper from the same mathematics department so that it should be a non departmental paper for the gender elective papers and at the end of one year a student accumulates a total of 44 credits that mentioned before and he or she is eligible for an undergraduate certificate course if exits after first year of the graduation similarly when we move on to the third and fourth semester here we have the distribution of these 22 credits of third and fourth semester as the column represents in uh, distribution of three dsc papers plus instead of a gender elective paper now we have two choices either we can choose a discipline specific elective or we can choose a gender elective paper so if we choose a gender elective it comes as a third gender elective or if we choose a discipline specific elective we can choose as a fourth paper from here similarly we can we also have a distribution for due credits in the form of a aec as well as an sec or in lieu of sec you can have a internship or an apprenticeship or project or a community reach in the form of iepc so either of these can be taken in place of sec similarly we will have in the value addition course paper again in this semester also the same pattern repeats for the fourth semester and at the end of fourth semester the student accumulates a total of 88 credits as mentioned before and he or she is eligible for a undergraduate diploma in the field of study or discipline moving on to the fifth and sixth semester the distribution of the 22 credits is in the form of dscs a compulsory discipline specific elective a compulsory generic elective unlike what was there in third and fourth semester where there was a choice between the discipline specific elective or generic elective now in fifth semester it is a discipline specific elective is mandatory to be taken as well as generic elective are mandatory to be taken and an sec value addition course is not there in the fifth semester because we move on to the uh, honors program and we move on to the uh, complete three year degree program so the value addition course has been uh, mm -hmm. removed at that point ma'am can we move to the next slide monica ma'am yes and in the sixth semester also we have the same structure as of the fifth semester where there are three core papers discipline specific core papers and one elective paper compulsory elective as well as one generic elective paper as a compulsory to be taken with an sec so uh, with these uh, the three year is completed and the student accumulates 132 credits and he or she will be eligible for bachelor of honors with three years and uh, with credits of 152 sorry 132 credits in the completion of six semesters now when we move on to the uh, seventh semester now the student will be uh, opting or should, the student will be offered a discipline specific core paper compulsory core paper of four credits plus the remaining distribution for due to credits is in the form of either he or she can take three discipline specific elective each of four credits or two discipline specific elective of four credits and one ge of four credits totally the combination has to be of the 12 credits so 12 could be three electives each of four credits or two electives and one ge of four credits or one elective and two ge of four credits the so total credits of 12 has to be taken here in case of this so 12 plus 4 becomes 16 here it was 4 plus 4 16 now here it is 4 plus 12 16 and a major dissertation of 6 credits that major dissertation will be semester wise so it will be of 6 credits here it could be major dissertation of 6 credits or a minor dissertation of 6 credits or an academic project or an entrepreneurship project of 6 credits 
same structure is re uh, redistributed for the eighth semester also where the dsc is to be of three dsc papers of four credits or two dsc papers of two credits plus one ge paper of four credits similarly we will have the major dissertation here of six credits or minor dissertation of four the dissertation on major and minor are in the field of the major and minor chosen so the specific of major and minor decides the dissertation credits here so if a student is of physics honors and chooses a major of a minor of maths then uh, he has a uh, dissertation on major that is of physics or minor of mathematics or an academic project or an entrepreneurship project that can be taken and at the end of eighth semester uh, the student would have accumulated a total of 176 credits and he will be eligible for bachelor with honors or with honors in discipline one as major and major two or major and minor in that so this is the structure for honors course students i'm shall we move to the next table yes and uh, the second structure possible is for the uh, multidisciplinary courses of studies currently or specifically we speak of the physical sciences courses which we are there so in case of physical sciences courses uh, the structure because there are three or uh, two or three different disciplines so in our case there are three disciplines which are not same or and in all these three disciplines each of the students will be taking or will be taking one paper from each of the disciplines in each semester for first semester the credits are of 22 credits and the distribution is each discipline four credits of four paper is given plus g from a pool of courses as offered for them they will be given and acc like for the honors courses and sec like for the honors courses and vac like for the honors courses so acc sec and vac will be same for both the disciplines whether it is multidisciplinary or whether it is single discipline with major and minor the only thing that will change here in case of multidisciplinary is uh, in discipline specific core papers uh, the student will be offered one one discipline from each of the courses so for mathematical physical sciences suppose if i'm speaking for physical sciences then physical sciences you'll have three different papers here similarly same will happen uh, in the second semester also and at the end of second semester the student will be accumulating 44 credits and like before the student will be eligible for an undergraduate certificate in case of the third semester third semester again the there are three discipline specific core papers plus the student uh, can choose one dse discipline specific elective paper from either of a b or c suppose if the if the student is uh, studying physics chemistry and computer science then the student can choose an elective from physics chemistry and computer science or physics math and computer science whichever discipline uh, he or she is studying he can choose a discipline specific elective from that and we have a ge genetic elective as an option instead of a discipline specific elective so gender elective paper will be apart from the specific elective papers then it uh, the distribution of 22 credits is in the form of aec sec or apprenticeship and the uh, vac courses same structure repeats for the semester 4 also and at the end of semester 4 the student accumulates 88 credits and is eligible for undergraduate diploma if or he or she exists. Ma'am, shall we move on to the next page? For the fifth semester and the sixth semester, the, the structure is similar, where uh, the student will be offered again three uh, discipline specific core papers. And now the discipline specific elective is a compulsory paper. He has to choose us elective also and a generic elective also. So discipline specific elective DSC will be offered as a compulsory paper plus generic elective as a compulsory paper will be offered along with one SEC for all of them. This will be the form of 22 credits for them. Same sector is followed for same sector is followed for the sixth semester also. And uh, after the end of sixth semester, the student would have accumulated 132 credits and he or she will be eligible for bachelor in the field of multidisciplinary study with 132 credits 
when we move on to the seventh semester in the case of seventh semester there will be one core paper and the remaining 12 credits would be in the form of either three dscs or two dscs plus one ge or one dse plus two ge here we are speaking of the electives so electives could be from the disciplines which he or she would have studied in the form of a b or c so from there they can choose a three dscs or two dscs or one dsc minimum one dsc has to be chosen or he or she can choose two dscs or three dscs and the remaining credits should be distributed in the form of dissertation as 4 plus 2 or for major papers or that, that is a major discipline or the minor discipline 4 plus 2 in this form or academic project in the form of 4 plus 2 uh, ma'am can you move to the last slide of this yeah. and uh, this structure of the 7th semester and 8th semester are similar and at the end of the 8th semester the total credits Uh, student accumulates is 176, and he or she will be eligible for the award of bachelor in the field of multidisciplinary honors with the projects or honors as it is. This would be the structure. Uh, my move. Thank you. you. Yeah, thank you, Shankar. That was quite insightful. Uh, I would now now like to call upon uh, uh, Vikas ji to kindly explain uh, the AEC back. And sex structure uh, we are going to follow in the college. Vikas ji, uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, basically, I'm just going to introduce uh, value-added courses uh, so that uh, they all students they all are aware that the the about the number of uh, the courses uh, introduced in new education policy or undergraduate curriculum framework, uh, where uh, in terms of discipline specific elective papers discipline uh, specific core papers uh, generic elective papers and uh, skill uh, enhancement courses uh, the ability enhancement courses and value added courses so basically the uh, the value added courses uh, are the common uh, pool of courses basically offered by uh, college and basically is aiming to provide you uh, uh, in terms of uh, personality building uh, cultural and constitutional duties and related to critical thinking particularly in terms of environment our students and the college uh, for the student uh, those who have taken admission in first year they have to study four value added courses in four semesters so that means in each semester semester 1 semester 2 semester 3 and semester 4 they have to opt one value added courses college will provide you uh, in each semester the pool of papers of the value added courses and each uh, semester you have to pick one value add added paper uh, that is for two credit now this semester that means semester 1 the college has offered 10 value added courses uh science and technology uh that means science and society also in terms of the the change name of the paper vedic mathematics digital empowerment financial literacy culture and communication constitutional values and fundamental duties ethics and values in ancient indian traditions sarjanatmak lekh ke ayam ecology and literature gandhi and education now before going to introduce the examination method uh, of the value added courses uh, i would request to all the students uh, because the college has already floated the google form related to the ge papers skill enhancement paper and value added courses as early as possible you please fill your google form so that college can know that the number of student those who have opted particular paper and accordingly this section will be divided and your classes is going to be start in very soon so i request everyone today itself you just complete your google form if you have not completed so that we can start your classes as soon as possible when the options you have provided us 
now the examination method uh, is the component is divided into three parts the one is internal assessment 25% practical examination is 50% and the end semester theory is 25% now the bulk of the course in uh, value added courses are primarily based on hands on technology that means it's all about the practical understanding of the any particular paper so it's not about theoretical debate you are going to study in deeper way rather than the practical society based knowledge hands on knowledge and the use of technology use of any resources any uh, tool which you use in your daily life that particular idea has been given in the value added courses so it's not about that theory based rather than is a practical based papers where your teacher will teach you how you apply all the things mentioned in your syllabus in a practical life so that you can earn and you can learn in that sense the the creative writings presentation skills and also the communication skills critical thinking this is the objective to create of uh, the indian knowledge system through this value added courses and that's the thrust of this new education policy and the undergraduate curriculum framework so you just pick your course as early as possible and i request you you just finish your google form today in itself so that college will start your classes very soon in that sense thank you ma'am thank you vikas ji uh, it will be great if you could at least explain sec courses as well it was quite a delight to hear you okay i thought the kapil sir is here so okay. if ah, if he is not okay then i can explain it no issue no i think kapil is also here he can take it up yeah kapil a uh, very good morning to all of you uh, as my colleague uh, dr manika jain dr shankar subramanyam dr vikas kumar already told about the Course structure of UGCF. Uh, you will study uh, seven papers to gain a twenty-two credits. Out of these seven, uh, three papers for your DSC, discipline-specific active course, uh, the discipline-specific courses. Uh, one paper for general elective, which you choose out of the pool of courses which uh, college will offer you, and three compulsory paper. Uh, these three compulsory paper are value-added courses. Uh, skill enhancement courses and AEC, which is ability and enhance, enhance courses. So Vikas sir already told you about the value added courses. Now I also discuss about the uh, skill enhancement courses. So uh, this course is also for two credit, as uh, value added courses is same for two credit. So the college will offer, uh, as you know. Uh, these set courses you will study out of the pool courses which college offer so our college will offer these 15 courses in semester first these courses are basic it tools essentials of python programming of python statistical with r prospective e waste for sustainability app development using flutter digital marketing personal financial planning advanced spreadsheet tools statistical software package rachanatmak lekhan rangmanch creative writing political leadership and communication and e tourism so you have a choice out of these 15 courses you can choose any one for semester first you have already got the google form so it is uh, all the paper names already mentioned in the google form so you can choose uh, one paper out of these 15 courses so uh similarly you have one compulsory uh, paper also uh, which is skill enhancement course sorry ability enhancement course uh so for uh, uh, you can uh, choose these paper out of uh, pool courses offered by college but uh, we fixed it for science courses in this semester uh, you can uh, you will study environmental science for uh, ac as a ac ability enhancement course and in next semester uh, semester second you have a option you can choose 
फ्रॉम लैंग्वेज कोर्सेज हिंदी एंड संस्कृत वन कोर्स फ्रॉम दीज टू कोर्सेज सो दीज आर दल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सेवन कोर्सेज either you can uh, opt for a honors courses or you can opt for a physical science courses program courses so overall you have a seven papers uh, you can score 22 credits out of these seven papers three paper is fixed which is tsc discipline specific course you can either you can you can admitted in a honors course or maybe admitted in a physical science as well and the fourth one is ge courses so for honors courses you have a uh, option of Uh, 15 17 courses from different discipline departments like mathematics physics chemistry electronics computer science zoology botany hindi english sanskrit or economics uh, commerce political science and history so out of these 14 15 department you can choose any subject except your discipline if you are admitted in a mathematics honors course so you cannot choose mathematics as your g if you are admitted in a chemistry on a sub chemistry on a uh, discipline so you cannot choose g as your as a subject uh, chemistry so uh, except chemistry you can choose any one similarly uh, we have three compulsory paper vac sec and or similarly for a physical science you can also choose uh, genetic elective uh, out of science courses only so you have a option physics chemistry math electronics computer science and geology and botany so out of these seven discipline you can choose any one either if you already study as a discipline subject and right? if you are study mathematics or physics as a discipline bsc physical science so you can also also choose general elective from uh, maths or as well as physics okay uh, now we have three compulsory paper vac sec and uh, aec so we already explain you about the vac and sec so the third one is aec so aec is compulsory for all science courses whether you are admitted in honors courses or you are admitted in program courses physical science so you will study uh, evs environmental science in aec thank you thank you kapil uh, now this is uh, about uh, the option forms which are available on your website also and we hope that you are regularly visiting your website for all this information update you can fill in these forms you should be filling in these forms at the earliest uh, option form for ge sec and vac and the option form uh, for the ba program of course that's not relevant to you so now the house is open for the discussion and uh, an attendance form has been shared with all of you all are it's mandatory to fill in that attendance form uh, you can raise your hands to put up your questions now uh Manika, ma'am. Anji. Uh, uh, before uh, uh, we go for the question answer, I have just one uh, thing to uh, say, particularly regarding the most of the bulk of the students, they have confusion regarding the uh, major and minor, uh, yes. particularly. Uh, I don't think uh, the, for the first semester student they have any issue, particularly related to major and minor, except Absolutely. for the honors courses. There is a G. so the all bsc honors courses i don't think they are going to be bothering about right now to understand the major and minor because right now they are studying only their discipline paper ge vac and sec so only bsc physical sciences student pv because they have a multiple papers so they may have a major question particularly related to major and minor and and also i request to each and every student please go and read ugcf framework carefully from the university website and also will provide in our college website so that better you can also understand your own way to understand about the major and minor courses because it's the first time uh, the uh, the new, under new education policy this structure has been introduced uh, the university is coming every day with a clarification and also about the clarity on lots of things so i request my all these student you should not get panic and also you not should be in a uh, very i request just passion take some time and then decide it in terms of that so aapko ko jaldi nahi karni hai aur na hi pareshan hona hai over the period mein aap one or two month mein you can able to understand about the major and minor so isme aap bilkul pareshan ye na ho ki nahi hame pata nahi chal raha on the time you can get each and everything thank you
मनिका मैम हेलो एनरेज किया है स्टूडेंट्स ने दो स्टूडेंट्स ने रविंदर सर विकास सर यस सर आर वी टेकिंग क्वेरीज यस सर आर वी टेकिंग क्वेरीज ऑन चैट बॉक्सेस और अनम्यूटिंग देम आई थिंक बोथ वे वी कैन टेक इट देयर इज नो इशू ओके राज यू आर नेक्स्ट आई एम अनम्यूटिंग यू यू कैन पुट अप योर क्वेश्चन राज प्लीज अनम्यूट chat box is also open raj please unmute hello sir i am audible yes 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 hello sir can we change our generic elective in next semester uh yes you can change because it's all about the choices in generic elective college will provide you but be careful in terms of when you are changing your g because if you are in honors a student then if you want to carry your as a minor then you have to accumulate 28 credits from your g so 7 g at least require from one discipline one pp suppose if you are a physics honors and if you are opting a math as a g then you have to at least carry a uh, 28 credit from math if i am correct sankar sir yes sir yes sir it is that only so so be careful uh, when you decide such things that's why i am saying please go and read at least ugcf page number uh in terms of 8 9 10 and 11 these at least four pages at least you read so that you can understand the major and minor thing see the major and minor starts when you are going for a four year program and for four year program in order to decide a major or minor you should be careful as told by dr vikas sir you should be very careful in choosing your generic elective paper as well as discipline specific elective paper if you are planning to have uh, i am trying to give an illustration so please listen to it carefully if you are choosing uh, the course as your bsc physics honors major and uh, maths as minor then you have to choose papers in such a way that your minor paper should be spanned by 28 credits so if you are choosing minor in mathematics you should have 28 credits of papers of mathematics in the form of generic elective and if you are choosing the vice versa then you should have your uh, elective choosing or the dsc chosen in such a way i think over to you because Uh, पंत सर एनी वन एल्स किसी और को कोई डाउट है कोई कंफ्यूजन है यस सर 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 गुड आफ्टरनून यस माय कोर्स इज बीएससी प्रोग्राम फिजिकल साइंसेस विद इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो आई हैव फिजिक्स मैथ्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एज अ सब्जेक्ट सो विल आई बी able to only study physics in the fourth year with research and uh, what course will it be called after the completion of the four years like what what so, will what will be the name of right the degree now, that i will right get now, after which, right now which two discipline paper you have opted the first you have to opt your two discipline paper mean or sankar sir yes sir yes sir Uh, i was thinking this question would come and it came quite early okay i'll just open the file once for reference please hold on beta
table six. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Now, see, for table six, at present, you are having three disciplines. For physical science electronics, you have three disciplines. Discipline A is physics. Discipline B is electronics. Discipline C is mathematics. You will study these three papers as of now. Okay. So, in order, when you come to the next part of this one, you have to choose three discipline-specific elective. So, elective can be chosen from the same disciplines of your A, B, C. So you can choose three discipline elective papers in case of major, either from physics or from electronics or from mathematics. So if you want to have in physics, you can choose from physics. If you want to have an electronics, you can choose from electronics. And if you want from mathematics, you can choose from the electives from the mathematics part. Okay, better. The structure hai, usko dekh kar hi aap samaj sakte ho usko. Physical science, electronics, are three papers are physics, electronics, mathematics. Physical science, computer science, are three papers are physics, computer science, mathematics. Us tari ke sahare ke liye rehte hain. Okay, but because so... basically, basically, major or minor is going to be determined by uh, uh, shall we, as per credit or uh, you earn basically on that particular uh, discipline. Uh, yes, sir. I understood that. Uh, that uh, in the fourth year, I will have electives only from physics if I want to study physics, right? But dear right. student, I, uh, I yes. have already told in the I have already told in the beginning. Don't jump to the third and four, fourth and fifth semester right now because much of the clarity you will get in over in one month or within, within uh, fifteen days. I think uh, right now just yes. to concentrate what you are opting right now, and that paper will continue in till your eighth semester and within that paper is going to be major and minor is going to be decided. It's a simple. Uh, so if okay. you're opting right now, physics, physics, electronics and math, then obviously you will carry these, any two papers from this for your major and minor. Ye agar ek clarity hai aapke andar in first semester mein, then I don't think there is any problem is going to be, you will face in your eighth semester or seventh semester at all. I think you, you should bother about right now that the first semester or second semester rather than the eighth semester right now. Uh, just to add to what Vikas sir has told, beta, agar aap logo ne table dekha hoga, first semester mein sabhi ke papers almost same structure mein distributed hain. Sirf jo aapke paas choices hain, generic elective ki choice hain, SEC ki choice hain, VAC ki choice hain. VAC or SEC जो है इन दोनों से आपका major minor पे कोई effect नहीं होगा कोई impact नहीं होता है तो जो सिर्फ आपका रहेगा generic elective को option रहेगा choose करने का और एक semester का ही है इसके लाब आपके और seven semesters होते हैं so I think you did not worry that much अभी आप जैसा विकास सर कह रहे हैं सिर्फ first year पर आप focus कीजिए and please stick to your questions or limit your questions to your first year part as of now and बाकी कुछ क्वेश्चन तो अगर और भी रहेंगे we'll have a bit more bit ठीक है विकास सर over to you Kapil sir, you want to add something, anything? Sir, there are some queries on the roll number. I think, better, jinke bhi roll numbers, jis bhi department ke aap bachche hain, please contact the department coordinator. They will assist you in the roll number part. Department coordinators ke name jo hain, college website par float kar jay gai hain, it's already been uploaded there. Please contact them. Roll number pe bhoat sarai question hain. Thik hai? सर्वेश कुमार आप मेरी बात सुन नहीं रहे हैं शायद मैंने अभी भी कहा है अपने डिपार्टमेंट कोऑर्डिनेटर से आप कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं फॉर द रोल नंबर दे विल एसिस्ट यू इन दैट ठीक है रोहन नहीं आप इफ यू आर मैथ ऑनर्स स्टूडेंट सो यू कैन नॉट यू कैन चूज जी फ्रॉम योर मैथ डिसिप्लिन 
जीई का डिसिप्लिन अलग होता है अलग होगा डिपार्टमेंट का नॉन डिपार्टमेंटल जीई होगा मैंने बताया था मैथ्स का बच्चा मैथ्स का जीई चूज नहीं करेगा मैथ्स ऑनर्स का बच्चा मैथ्स का जीई चूज नहीं करेगा ओके फिजिक्स ऑनर्स के स्टूडेंट अदर देन फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री ऑनर्स स्टूडेंट अदर देन केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स ऑनर्स स्टूडेंट अदर देन मैथ्स जो गिवन सब्जेक्ट है आपके जी के आपको उसमें से पिक करना है नॉट फ्रॉम योर ओन डिसिप्लिन जो आपका डिसिप्लिन सब्जेक्ट है जो डिसिप्लिन पेपर है उससे आपको ऑप्ट नहीं करना एक बच्चे ने बोला आई हैव फिजिकल साइंस यस फिजिकल साइंस कंप्यूटर साइंस मैथ्स कंप्यूटर साइंस फिजिक्स यस सही बोला आपने बेटा विल बी चेंज वीएसई सेक एवरी सेमेस्टर यस वीएसई एंड सेक विल बी फ्लोटेड इन एवरी सेमेस्टर बिकॉज़ देयर विल बी फोर सेमेस्टर यस वैक एंड सेक इज अप टू फोर सेमेस्टर and every semester there will be pool of courses jaise is bar aapko pool of course diye gaye hain next time bhi pool of course diya jayega uske sab pool of course hello 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 i add one more point for g for owner courses uh, as vikas sir already told you you can opt uh, subject other than your discipline if you are admitted in maths honors courses so you cannot choose maths as your g you can choose any other you know except maths similarly for chemistry physics and electronics and computer science but if you are admitted in physical science courses like physical uh, bsc program chemistry so you have a subject physics chemistry and mathematics so fourth paper is your general elective so you can choose your general elective as a physics as a math and as a chemistry also okay or you can choose rest of the paper also like computer science electronics botany and geology so you have a option okay and for g as a minor one thing you must also uh, remember ke for six semester you can choose the same g paper so that you can make a minor for owner owners courses also yes sir you put it correct vikas ji in compulsory for work and work beta the g papers which are related to programming will be accompanied by the labs also so it is a part of the curriculum and it will be available to you in the college itself uske zarurat nahi padegi aapko lag sakta verification process i think vikas sir will be notified on the website right let us take to the कोर्स के रिलेटेड बात करते हैं पहले क्वेश्चंस क्या है आपको विकास सर आप देख लीजिएगा कुछ क्वेश्चन लग रहे हैं आपको तो रीजनेबल क्वेश्चन जो पूछने
बेटा जी जो है ऑनर्स का अलग है ऑनर्स का स्ट्रक्चर अलग है प्रोग्राम का स्ट्रक्चर अलग है कैन वी चेंज दट कोर्स फ्रॉम बेसिक प्रोग्राम टू बेसिक ऑन द फर्स्ट ईयर दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन मेनी क्राइटेरिया यू कैन डिस्कस इट इन द ऑफिस मनिका मैम ओवर टू यू यस 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 प्लीज थैंक यू थैंक यू शंकर आई थिंक देयर वाज अ प्रॉब्लम विद द सिस्टम एंड द कनेक्टिविटी आई वाज नॉट एबल टू कनेक्ट ओके regarding the query that uh, uh, we you people need more time to fill in the forms so we'll make sure that you get uh, more time meanwhile uh, it's a request that it is still 10th of november and you can make your informed choices by the end of the day or maybe tomorrow so the form will still be functional please try to fill in your choices by tomorrow latest okay so don't worry about that uh, just a brief recap of all the queries which have been uh, registered by you your roll numbers are available either with your uh, co department coordinators or your or your dealing assistants okay so department coordinators will be able to guide you towards your dealing assistants and you can get your roll numbers from there uh, what uh, vikas ji just told and uh, kapil ji ma'am yeah. just uh, just i'm just announcing one thing because the one student yes. has raised question about the compulsory paper uh, yes i'm just saying one thing to every student that that set wet ac g and your discipline papers these are all are the part of your semester so set wet g you have to choose wo aap ye nahi ki aap ek paper nahi padhenge aisa kaam nahi hoga palak so i am addressing to everyone you have to choose wet you have to choose set and also generic collective papers Okay. Should be graduate after six semester. Yes, of course. I mean, uh, Satyam, uh, you should have studied your UGCF framework uh, while getting the admission. I think you should be making an informed choices which course you are getting admitted to. And uh, regarding, uh, if you change your G every semester, uh, again, uh, you know, I would not like to take the elephant out of the box here. But then uh, you have to study about how you are going to go about your minor degrees. Okay. minor discipline uh, just uh, i am just saying first right now just you pick your subjects g, regarding yes. g stack wet do up maybe after first semester you can better able to understand whether you want to change or continue your g or sec paper so i am just requesting each and every student you just choose right now as per your interest as per your choice as per just go by the syllabus choose your g back and sec i think after once first semester you may have in a better position to decide yourself about your changing g back or sec so i just request you to just right now just pick your one paper and then later you just decide to change or not not to change what is your interest whether you want to continue the same g you want to change you are free to do but i think just wait at least for first semester then after you decide about all these things thank you vikas ji and another query is that there is another thing uh develop of the year will be to uh see uh, arjun uh, you are talking about sec courses so we will be sharing you the, uh, the information with you as and when we are disposed with it but right now we are uh, uh, offering you a pool of sec courses for the first semester okay uh lab mein honge bolo unko mai will be in the lab it will be in the computer lab uh those are uh, for courses which require you to have access to computer or which require you to sit down on the computers those courses will be held in the computer lab so you don't have to worry about it and your teachers will be uh, instructing you what you are supposed to be doing i think it's high time that you stop asking us questions about your roll numbers you need to come to the college and uh, explore how do you get your roll numbers with the uh, either with your Assistant coordinators classes already started or with your department dealing assistant the classes have already started the session has already begun and you should be in the college by now timetables are already uploaded on the college website please refer to those timetables
Can you change the course? Okay.